babes, this video I am going to be transforming from Mark, a boy, into Taylor Swift. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create this Taylor Swift makeup look and also this hair look as well. This is my first ever Taylor Swift makeup tutorial on my channel. So this is a first. I'm pretty excited and I hope that you enjoy the video. actually filming a video. Let's cover the... What, what are we doing? Okay, first things off, I'm going to be putting on my Desio contact lenses. These are the Innocent White contact lenses, but they come off blue on my eyes, and Taylor Swift has very, very blue eyes, so I'm just going to pop these on. Now that I've popped my contact lenses on, I'm going to be covering my eyebrows, because Taylor has very, 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 very thin eyebrows compared to mine, so I'm just going to be covering up most of my brow. I'm just using Pritt stick to cover my brows. Don't worry, it's very safe to use Pritt Stick because it's non-toxic. Setting that with a bit of powder. This is the Veil Translucent Powder. So today I'm going to be using a very, very exciting product. Uh, this is the Bellato Studio Airbrush System. And I'm so, so excited to finally show you guys this product. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. This is the compressor. This is the airbrush gun. On the website as well, they've got loads of different sets of different skin shades and everything. So I'm going to be using the shade in Dune for my face. For anyone that doesn't know what an airbrush is, it's a system that makes your skin look really, really flawless and much more perfected. So for the foundation, you add six drops of the foundation into the gun. You do kind of need a little bit of practice with the system because it's not the same as putting on foundation, definitely. And I'm just going to add six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you also want to shake up the bottle before you use it. I'm going to turn my system on. It's a little bit loud. And I'm going to swirl the gun in circular motions all over the face, leaving a gap between the face and the airbrush gun. Okay, if you want to concentrate on like a blemish, then just concentrate the airbrush on that area for a longer amount of time. So for under the eyes, I'm going to be applying my Ella Masca Rich Liquid Foundation in 200 because I didn't want to put airbrush under my eyes. I just prefer adding concealer on afterwards. And I'm using a lighter shade because Taylor Swift is a little bit lighter than I am. So I'm just applying that sort of in the center areas of the face. And I'm also applying that over the eyebrows. I'm just blending that in with my buffing brush. The airbrush doesn't really need setting, so I'm just going to be setting the concealer and the foundation on the center of the face with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is the pressed version that I made. Okay, let's talk guys while I powder. How are you guys? I am missing you so much. I'm not fully back on YouTube yet. I don't know when I'll be able to upload regularly again, as of yet. But honestly, I miss you guys so much, and I'm glad to be doing this video today. Uh, and please keep supporting me, because I can't wait to be back and show you guys why you've subscribed. And thank you for 50,000 subscribers! Thank you so much. This is so weird, talking to you with, like, blue contacts and, like, no eyebrows. Let's do the eyebrows. I'm going to be using uh, the Ella Masca Precision Brow Gel in Stare. So Taylor Swift's eyebrows start pretty far apart and then it goes pretty arched and it's really, really thin as well. So I'm going to try and replicate that for my eyebrows. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for 50,000. Are you kidding me? That's like, that's a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos, like, you wait for my videos to go live, it's... I am so thankful. I'm so thankful. Uh, 
Now that I've drawn out my really thin Taylor Swift eyebrows, I'm going to be etching them out using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1. Standard. And then the final product that I'm going to be using on the eyebrows is my Etude House Color My Brows. This is like a blonde color and since Taylor's eyebrows are blonde, I'm just going to be applying that on the beginning of my brows. So, I'm going to be using MAC Omega Eyeshadow into the crease with my MAC 217 brush. This is going to be our transition color. After the transitional color, I'm going to be using something really, really affordable. This is the MUA eyeshadow palette in Heaven and Earth. The first shade that I'm going to be using is this brown shade. It's really nice. It's like a chocolate color. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much. And I'm just running that into the crease. I'm not applying too much of this because I want a good blend from the eyeshadow. And a little bit on the lower bit of your eye. Using a flat brush, like a shader brush, I'm going to be using this Born Gold shade. It's like a coppery, orangey gold. It's really nice. I love this. I'm just sweeping that onto the lid. And then I'm just going to sweep that all over the lower lash line as well. Then I want the inner corner to be really, really super highlighted. So I'm going to be using my Instagram Magic pen from Rodeal first and apply that to the inner corner here. This is just the base. And also apply that on the inner tear duct near the nose bridge, right next to that. What songs do I like from Taylor Swift then? I like, I like 22, that's a good song. I like Blank Space, that's really good. Um, style is really good as well, that's a really good song. I'm using the white gold shade in the palette. Really shimmery, so that's good. Just apply that on top of the rodeo pen. Taking a nude liner from Rimmel, I'm just applying that to the waterline. Warm copper golden shades are amazing for blue eyes. This just looks incredible with people who have blue eyes. For liner, I'm just using my Collection Extreme Liner. I'm creating a winged liner on the outer corner and I'm also going to bring it in slightly on the inner corner because Taylor's eyes protrude downwards a little bit more than mine do. For mascara, I'm going to be using Givenchy Phenomenize. For eyelashes, I love the Red Cherry Wispies. And that's the eyes done. Taylor likes a good pink blush, so I'm using the Elf Pink Passion. It's very pink, like really pink. I'm gonna be using my contouring powder from Rodeal. This is a gray tone. And I'm just going to contour. Taylor's cheekbones are pretty low compared to mine. And then I'm gonna contour the nose to look like Taylor's. I'm going to be using that shade again from the eyeshadow palette, the light shade, and just highlight the tip of the nose. A little bit on the bridge. Taylor Swift has a really deep cupid, so I'm just going to be applying a shadow right in the middle and applying a highlight right next to that. For the lips, I'm going to be redrawing my lips using my MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in Brooding Plum. Let's draw Taylor's lips. They're pretty pointed on the tip of the top lip and they're pretty rounded on the bottom lip, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to be using Rihanna's MAC Viva Glam Lipstick and apply that all over the lips. And I'm going to put my wig on. So I've just put on my blonde wig. Armpit hair. Woohoo! So I'm going to show you how to style the hair now. I'm just going to pop this on a side parting from the right side of the face to the left because that's how Taylor has it. 
So guys, the hair curlers that I'm going to be using today are the New Me Titan 3 Professional Curling Wand. And this has got three titanium heat barrels. So this curling wand includes a 19mm wand, a 32mm wand. I'm going to be using the 25mm one today because I want like medium sized curls. And you get them in different colours but I chose the tealy blue because that's my favourite colour. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing an inch section worth of hair and I'm going to be wrapping the hair around, curling away from my face. And you only need 10 seconds to heat up and curl, you see? It comes with a heat resistant glove as well. It's really, really useful for people that are a little bit clumsy, which is me. So to be honest, I should be really using that, but I'm being a rebel. I probably, I probably, ow, uh, see I already burned myself. Ow, uh, So I've just got a paddle brush and I'm just going to brush these curls out a little bit. And also if you want a good discount on new me then I am going to hook you up. I'm giving you $40 off on the whole website and you just have to use the code Prince of Vanity on checkout and also I can give you a better deal. This is like $100 off of any set on the Numi website and what you just have to type in on the checkout is Vanity Curls. All of the info will be down below for you guys. So this has been Mark the Prince of Vanity as Taylor Swift. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait to be filming regularly for you guys again. I miss you guys so much and talk to me in the comment section below. I read every single one and if you haven't subscribed already, please do that if you wish to see more videos and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>